right, so now I've got three years supply. So why do you got to keep? Three years? Yeah. Because it, it gets better as it ages. Ah. Or yeah. making harmony. Yeah, it, it's better when you got it uh, uh, two, three years, and it makes a better harmony. Plus, huh? you might have a bad year and not get anything. That's true. Like, who knows what'll happen next year. You gotta keep yourself supplied. you're cleaning these to store. Right. Huh. There's another one, look at that. That's a uh, corn mother, or a mother corn. The mother load, <laughs> the mother corn. <laughs> and this is what I keep. So this is the mother load, and, and there the are other load. Hopis that know you have it. So. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> this is the one I saved. That's a perfect era corn. The the kernels go all the way around. There's nothing, no flaw in it. It's a perfect era corn. And this is what we call the mother corn, or the tutsuming one. We use this for um, baby naming, by giving the baby a name, or for initiation when somebody's going to uh, some certain initiation and they wash their hair and they give them a new name. See, I, it's got a hole here. I've worn this before. It's, I put a, I'll pierce a little hole here and I tie a string so I can wear it on my neck because when, when, you're, when you're going through an initiation or something, you can't, you can't leave this alone. You have to have it with you all the time. I see. And so the, the only way to keep it out of your way is to hang it on you. So we hang it around. And, and it's hard to find these. So anytime you find one, you store it away, you put it somewhere nice so that way nothing happens to it. So this whole thing here is full of mother corn. See, I'll probably use this one this year. This is a nice little fat one. I'll probably put a string on it. Mm. And, and in fact, I'll take it out now because this is the one I am going to use. That's two ears, okay. a double ear. And I asked an agronomist one time why that is. And he said, because Hopi corn is some of the oldest corn in the world. And every now and again, it tries to go back to Teosinte grass, which is what corn was developed from. And, uh, what kind of grass? Teosinte grass. Corn was developed 10,000 years ago in southern Mexico uh, from a grass called Teosinte grass. And uh, it turned into this. So it's trying to go back home. Yeah. This is a really old stone carving that comes from the Andes in South America. And it's three ears of corn. And I always wondered why it was that way, why it was carved that way. And then I started getting stuff like this from the field from time to time. And I realized that, you know, this is an old carving of old corn. Side by side. Right there. Okay, put them on over there. Okay. If you find one like this, see with all those little. Yeah. Oh, I'll put those on top. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man. Ooh, man. It's man. It's how? 